We got a call from a neighbor of a, a guy who's distraught, and um, we're just trying to figure out what's going on with him. I have early reports that say that he's one of your own. Can you give us a name? I can't give you any details right now. Right now, we just got to try to talk to him. Shot fired. John! The Bible says that it's appointed for a man to die once, and then the judgment. But if God sees hate as the same as murder, and lust, the same as adultery. How do we even follow the Ten Commandments? We can't. That's why we need Jesus. And that's why I needed John to meet Jesus. Listen, John, can I come in and talk to you? No. 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 Not, not now. John, is it okay if I just, if I just pray for you right here, right here in front of the house? I'm gonna put my head down, I'm gonna pray for you, okay, John? Here I go. Dear God, I just pray for peace in this house. I pray for John right now. I pray that the spirit of suicide just goes away from this house, Lord. I pray for John's peace in his heart, and I just pray that the chains break right now, Lord, in your holy name. I pray this, amen. So why Christianity, as opposed to a Jewish or a Muslim religion? I guess it comes down to the same reason I became a detective, because I love the truth. Think about it, 500 people that saw Jesus after he was crucified. You know, that's, that's really strong, considering that two witnesses can put a guy away for a long time. So I take timelines and, and, and evidence, forensics, and witnesses, and I came to the conclusion that it all points to Jesus was exactly who he said he was. John, can I come in? What do you want? I want to pray for you, John. I want to pray. No, no one else. Just, just you. No one else, just me. Two minutes. I'm Detective Carl Vincent, Vice. And how long have you been with Vice? As long as I've been a Christian. How long is that? Ten years. Why? Why am I a Christian or why did I start working Vice? Let's go with why a Christian would want to work Vice. Well, before I was a Christian, I was a drunk. I wasn't working Vice. I was working homicide. You had drinking tendencies from working homicide? suicidal tendencies from working homicide. Drinking is just a way to numb everything out. Do you think 
that's what happened to John? You know, I'm a Christian, but I don't feel the need to share that with anybody. Why is that? Well, I mean, you know, separation of church and state. I'm not about to get sued. Even if it was a life or death situation? <laughs> Look, I like my job and I like helping people. But if I had the choice between losing my job because I'm praying for some civilian or losing my job because I shot and killed a suspected felon, I choose the latter. It's close enough. Shouldn't have come here. This has turned into a real cluster. Just doing my job. You here to talk me out of killing myself? No. I'm here to introduce you to Jesus before you pull that trigger. I'm not a religious man. That's good, because Jesus isn't either. I don't believe in Jesus. Well, he believes in you. So die today, die tomorrow. You're going to meet him. I guess I'm just screwed then. Some might call you a lukewarm Christian. Hey, it's not my job to proselytize. That's why we have chaplains. Hey, I, I go to church. I love me some Jesus. But I am not the one that you're going to hear preaching about it. The truth is, we're all screwed, John. Sin is sin. God's going to judge it any way he can. Your sin different than mine, but he's going to judge it. So you meet God, he's going to judge your sin. I've never been religious. It's not about religion, it's about a relationship. Maybe I'm just in the mood. The Bible tells us we don't battle against flesh and blood. We battle against powers, principalities, rulers of the air. Spirits. Or you think they call that booze spirits? You know, I don't know about all that. Yeah, well, mood and spirit. I just know how I feel. I'm just numb. That's just chains around your heart, made by sin. It's caused to keep God out. I... I don't know God. Oh, he knows you, and he demonstrated his love by dying for you on the cross. How do you even know that? You're a detective, right, John? How many people does it take to put somebody in jail? How many witnesses? Ah, oh, you know it only takes two. Jesus had 500 witnesses that saw him die and rise again. 500 witnesses, a lot of witnesses. He's real, and if you die today, you're gonna meet him. I'm so over this, all of this. The gun did go off on accident, and lucky for me, no one got hurt. But I did get to lead John in prayer, and he accepted Jesus. So before I became a Christian, the first thing I looked at was the witnesses of Jesus. And I don't mean just the disciples, but there was 500 people that saw Jesus. 500 people. I remember it only takes two witnesses to put somebody away for a long time. You know. Jesus said himself, I am the way and the truth and the life. So timelines, evidence, witnesses, all point to that Jesus was who he said he was. And that's the truth. Detective, what did you say to make him surrender? I told him if he died today, he'd have to answer to God. You mean if he killed himself? No, if he died today, tomorrow, 50 years from now, when he dies, he's going to meet God. Uh, according to your faith, anyway. Assuming that there is a God, he judges. I mean, I thought it was an all-loving God. Yeah, we do have an all-loving God. But God is uh, righteous, and he's holy, and he judges. She asked me if suicide was an automatic conviction to hell. Under the circumstances, I don't think God really cares. Sin is sin. Kill yourself, kill somebody else. In the book of Judges, Samson has all this power from God. And then he walks away from God, rebelling. Later on, Samson finds himself between two pillars. Asks for God's assistance. God gives him his power back. Samson pushes the pillars apart, sending a temple crashing down on him, along with 3,000 people killing him and the people. I mean, you have to know the heart of the person who killed himself. So, uh, responding to North Shore Church right now, uh, 
There are casualties out front. First responders are there and the gunman is still inside. So I'm gonna roll up here really quick and see if I can help out. This is a close. Clarity, uh, North Shore Church. So much for safety at church. First responders were missing 901. Copy that. Give me two on the right and two on the left. Copy. I want a sniper in the back copy. and another one right over there. Let's go. Copy, copy. This is a mess. I think we're gonna learn from Charleston. Yeah, sign of the times, my man, sign of the times. You got that right. You wanna know that part? What? They knew the shooter. What's the story? Uh, the gunman was a dude the church took in. Yeah, they let him stay for about a week or so. Yeah, let me guess. He showed his appreciation by coming in and shooting up the church. Got in an argument with one of the pastors, kicking him out for using drugs. Well, the guy doesn't have any food or shelter, but he has money for guns and drugs. Amen. Amen. What makes you want to be a cop? Well, as a Christian, I always feel the need to want to serve my community. It's kind of what we're called to do anyway. Cops? Christians. I thought Christians just helped out to earn brownie points. <laughs> I mean, it certainly makes you look good. Not the Bible, Bash, but the Bible says no one is good. No man is good, not one. Well, I certainly see churches doing some good things. That's because the Christians who follow Jesus follow the greatest commandments of all. Which are? Love God, love people. I still don't get how a Christian can be a cop. I mean, what if you have to shoot somebody? Only the bad ones. But isn't that a conflict of interest? You just got done saying that nobody's good. I didn't say that. Jesus said that in the context, that we are all sinners. The only one who is good is God. But isn't that a conflict of interest? I mean, you're a Christian. What if you had a bust, say, a Muslim or a Hindu? Wouldn't you be biased? Let me tell you one thing. If there are more Bible-believing cops out there who love God, you wouldn't have anything to report in your evening news. The thing I know, Jesus is colorblind. He only sees the heart. The bad guys? They see in color, the color blue. How do I deal with my job as a Christian? Uh, yeah, you might have to shoot someone. Well, what if someone shoots me? So what's the story? Any survivors? I don't think so. You're gonna wanna stick around to console the families. We don't do so well with that stuff. Hey, uh, which one of you is Finn? I'm Finn. Finn, I'm Dan Wexler. One of the family members sent me down here to check on the situation of their loved one. In what capacity? I'm a lawyer. Someone here thinking of suing? Well, there could be some legal implications. I don't know the name of the deceased. You're just going to have to come. Oh, no, no, not the deceased. It's the guy on the inside. The guy on the inside? Yeah. The shooter? Well, wait a second. Oh, we don't know if he was the one who initiated the shooting now, do we? I mean, we'd have to call him the survivor at this moment. I understand giving someone the benefit of the doubt, but really? Bunch of two conies and a cheesy fry. The shooter's one of yours. You're such a racist. You got a shawarma? You're on. It's not about race, my Lebanese friend. It's about religion. And uh, your people's religion I tend to do this kind of thing. Again, uh, stereotyping. If the shoe fits. Yeah, yeah, because no Christian ever bombed a church or two in the South. Well, not since the 60s. And those were white people. I'm Greek. I'm Special Agent Ajax Kossi. I work for Homeland Security. And what do you do for them? I'm mostly on anti-terrorist detail. What does that entail? I investigate possible terrorist cells, intercept and obstruct terrorist acts. You're welcome. One could argue that these people you call terrorists are just defending their faith. No, but I would argue that their religion tells them to go out and kill for their faith. Come on now. You can't tell me all Muslims want to kill everyone. Who said anything about Muslims? That's a little racist, don't you think? I'm kidding. But if you're a practicing Muslim that reads and follows all of the Quran, and it says kill the infidel, either you do it all, or you most likely condone it. Who's the racist now? I'm not a racist. I'm a realist. And the fact is, it's all about religion. And what religion are you? Well, I'm the best religion. I'm Catholic, off the record. What part off the record? 
Detective, can I talk to you for a moment, please? Look, it'll just take a second. All right, I'll give you a second. Fantastic. Look, I'm Rebecca Stone. I'm producing the television show Cops 911. We're just covering the day to day drama that you all face. You're authorized to be here, right? Yeah, my press pass is in my van, but here's. Tell me what's going on. Yes, you don't have to be a detective to figure out that there are people outside of a church here in front of a church dead. Do you care to elaborate? Yeah, some psycho in the church chased people out of the church and shot them. It really is a horrific scene. Can you turn around and get a shot of this, please? In a 12, uh, 20, code 20. Copy that, 12. Look, can you just tell me who the shooter is? No. Well, was it a terrorist attack? Uh, uh, I don't know yet. We don't know. Is the shooter Muslim? Do you really think that uh, all Muslims are terrorists? <laughs> no, but all terrorists are Muslim, right? I think uh, there are terrorists in all different ways. Obviously. It just seems like every time a bomb goes off in a train or a car, that it's a radical Muslim. <laughs> it doesn't matter for the sake of the story, OK? I was just wondering. She didn't know I was Lebanese, and I sure wasn't going to tell her I was Muslim. I was having way too much fun listening to her try to talk about terrorism. Look, I am just trying to make sure my client's rights are not being violated. Your client's rights. What about them out there? They've got you. They got me? They're dead. They're in the presence of God. I can't do anything for them. Well, they died in church, so there must be some hope in that. They are the church. The hope is they knew Jesus. Well, the topic of Jesus can be very offensive. They're Christians. That's what they do. They talk about Jesus. Yeah, well, from what I understand, this was an outreach program, trying to help people get back on their feet, not to proselytize. So you think talking about the truth is an excuse for violence? If the conversation is in absolutes, it could cause conflict. I get it. You just don't like the truth. It's relative. We got movement. Can you request an 1148? So many religions and so many races. Who's to say that there's just one God or one true religion? I believe in freedom. I think that's what this country was founded upon. And I believe in fairness. And if there is a God, it's our given right to practice any religion we choose to. My job is to ensure that no rights are being violated. My job is to find the truth in all civil matters. Jesus says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. No one can get to the Father but through me. Is that truth? Over 500 people saw the risen Jesus after he was crucified. 500. That's a lot of witnesses. As far as moral codes, rights, wrongs, who do you think made that up? That's in the Ten Commandments. Where do you think the court gets that stuff?
to my town, my city, let's go now, groundbreaking, let's break ground, let's score big like touchdown, so what now, step back, D-Town, this my set, see the news you disrespect, from the cast to craft, let's take it back, prideful, I hate that, humble, I take that, strong codes, I break that, be true fam, don't fake that, got a problem, gotta face that, get freed up, gotta shake that, got a deficit, now replace that, get redefined, now break that. Tearing down barriers, damaging every structure That's shifting about the rupture My city's breaking the custom They laughing because we stumble Yeah, they want us to crumble I hear them, they talking loud Quiet them to a mumble Try to crush us, but we won't break You backstab just like snakes We on lock, stalemate Gotta redefine and reshape New look and a new face My town, my state D-Town, Great Lakes Game over, checkmate This is my town This is my city Called the A, but I was born in B more. Had to move from the wire, spit that fire. The dream I had to see more. Legendary life we know. Vocabulary like C4. Backpack, stay track, full of rats, got me bent like Igor. He tour, brave now, A town, street sweeper, heat seeker. I leap right, speak life, change the game, mix the good, fix the hood. Atlanta main, bananas main, watch me bang. 97, that's when I came. Orangutan.